pretty excited about this one. Just picked up the Simpson Carbon Ghost Bandit helmet. Let's go home and check it out. Hey guys, Backpack Biker here. Just doing a quick unboxing and look over of the Simpson Carbon Ghost Bandit helmet. Um, I'm new to this whole full face helmet world. I don't use them, never have. I always use the crazy ass lids like I have over here. Um, just recently, a couple of friends of mine were asking me, hey, am I concerned about you know riding behind a car, someone possibly sneezing or coughing out the window, spitting out the window, maybe something like that. Am I concerned about that? You know, With the COVID-19 virus that's uh, been going around, um, do I have any worries? I'll be honest, I didn't really think about it, but after they mentioned it, yeah, that's definitely a worry. Um, so I figured, you know what, maybe there's a good time to switch over for the full face. Um, I, I've, I've been thinking of doing it anyway. I've been on the fence. You know, they are a lot safer, that's for sure, uh, than the, you know, than the crazy house lids, I would think anyway. But, uh, so again, I'm just going to do a quick overlook of this. Some close-up shots, tell you what I see, but I have no comparison. I can't compare this to you know any other type of full-face helmets. Uh, the only thing I compare it to is the is the lid that I got right here, and those are two completely different helmets, so there'll be no comparison. But anyway, let's get to it. All right, definitely light, definitely light. But it's carbon. Carbon's supposed to be light, right? So no surprise there. Um, cool bag, definitely, uh, we got a helmet design over there, a Simpson logo over here, definitely cool helmet bag, lights, um, all right, let's see what we got, we're not here to, I guess, to see the helmet bag anyway, um, all right, carbon, man. yeah, carbon's cool as heck, I love the look. One of the reasons why I went with this, not only, you know, I, I love the lightness of it. Carbon is very light. Um, I figured, you know, if I'm going on, a, you know, a long ride, you know, over an hour, two hours, three hours, what have you, um, having a hel heavy helmet on your head could definitely uh, cause fatigue. Um, carbon, not only does it look really cool, it'll definitely be light. So I definitely think, uh, you know, it will be very beneficial on that end. Um, this clear visor. This was one of the issues, though, when I was buying this. This helmet has a $669 price tag. And with a $669 price tag, I felt that it probably should have came with two visors, this, the clear and the smoked. It did come with a, a smoked internal visor, but um, I'll be swapping this one out. I'll probably be swapping out the internal visor out to switching that over to clear. Um, I ride at night, but not a whole heck of a lot. Uh, so, you know, for the little bit that I'm gonna be using it, it should definitely be convenient. Don't have to worry about carrying around those clear glasses anymore. Um, Oh wow, strong detents. These detents are very, very strong. Um, I guess they would have to be because if you plan on using this visor here at night, you can swap that out to clear, you're gonna have to leave this up. So I can't imagine the wind uh, blowing that down. There's the smoke uh, vi in internal visor right there. The, uh, goes up and down with the switch. Very, very cool. I definitely dig that. Uh, gives like that fighter pilot type look. Um, definitely cool. This visor here is, uh, they say it's an easy swap. I've never done it before, so if it's easy for me, it'll certainly be easier for you. We'll go ahead and do that in a minute. Um, DOT ECE rated, so definitely cool. Good enough for me. It's not Snell rated, though. I don't know why, because Simpson does do Snell rating on some of their helmets, but this one is not Snell rated. Um, DOT ECE is good enough for me. I know it does have an um, antibacterial cloth. I'm sure that's going to be, you know, very cool, too. Again, I'm not used to that. I usually use the Crazy Owl, so I don't even know what kind of cloth is in that. Who knows? Um, as far as, uh, yeah, swapping this thing out, man, let's do it. Let's just give it a shot. Again, it might not be so quick for me. Probably be quick for you, but let's just give it a shot anyway. Um, I'm going to put this down. I don't want to scratch up the new helmet. That's for sure. Uh, I do know from the research I did, it's got to be in the open position. Open position. We do that. Um, it's got to pop this off here. I actually did come up pretty easy there. All right, let's see here. We got uh, this other one here. The little tabs you got to pull. Hey, wow, that came off easy, very quick. 
If I had a watch on, I probably would have, I probably would have timed it. Um, I should probably quit while ahead, right? All right, guys, Simpson Ghost Bandit. Oh, no, I'm joking. All right, let's try to get him to do this. Um, I don't know, man. Things usually don't come off easier than they go back on, but we'll see. All right. All right. Right away, I can tell, being that this is smoked, it's going to be hard to see the tab points. And again, I've never done it before. Maybe for someone like you that have, have done it before, you would know exactly where they are or what have you, but I have not. Um, so let's just see if I could... Uh, that actually went on there pretty quick. Let's see one on the side. Um, wow, that was fast. That was really fast. Um, I'm actually pretty surprised how fast that was. I did not expect that. that was under a minute. Yeah, so that was definitely pretty quick. So there's definitely no lie there. Um, yeah, look at that, it works. So cool as heck, man. This thing definitely looks pretty cool with the smoked, smoked visor on here. I love it. With the carbon and the smoked, what do we got here? These are, uh, I believe these are directions, right? The directions here, is that what this is? Um, all right, directions. Well, guys, we don't read directions. Um, anywho, uh, yeah, so I guess I'll do some close-up shots. We'll, um, you know, so at least, you know, if you guys are on the fence, uh, possibly about thinking of going with the carbon version next to the regular version for the $200 price difference, um, you know, hopefully this will help you out. Uh, as far as though this face shield here, $54.95. So the face shield is $54.95. Oh yeah, one other thing I didn't mention, um, pin lock ready. So this is pin lock ready. The clear also comes pin lock ready. Um, pin lock is also $34.95. So you have $34.95, $54.95, $69, $669. So it's definitely not a cheap helmet. Uh, pin lock is definitely pretty cool though. Um, you don't have to worry about the face shield fogging up. I have never used it. I've heard about it and uh, heard a lot of good things about it anyway. So we'll do an install on that some other time. Um, but anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. Um, stick around for some close-up shots. And again, uh, ride safe. Perfect.